my name is Nina, and I'm currently working in Dr. Forsberg's lab at San Diego State University. And in our lab, we study the gut-brain axis. So what is the gut-brain axis? Well, in our body, that houses trillions and trillions of bacteria, especially in our gut. And these bacteria helps us digest our food, like our hamburger, pizza, and even the drinks that we drink. And these bacteria poop out things called metabolites. And these metabolites are basically different molecules, like they could be our vitamins, like vitamin K, our sugars, like fructose and glucose, our neurotransmitters, like serotonin and dopamine. And these metabolites travel through our blood system and their vagus nerve to interact with our brain, telling it, hey, you're feeling happy, or hey, you're feeling sad, or you're feeling full. But too much of a certain type of bacteria in our body can lead to an imbalance, also known as dysbiosis. And dysbiosis can be detrimental to our health, because take, for example, serotonin. Whenever we're feeling sad or um, upset, we usually tend to reach for a chocolate or something sweet, because it can help us produce a lot of serotonin. And, but too much of serotonin can lead us to have agitation, high blood pressure, and headaches. And what our lab is trying to do is, we're trying to understand the right amount of proportions. We want to know how much is too much of these bacteria. And, and we want to bring our body back to homeostasis in order to feel happier. And we want to know the right amount of bacteria we should have in our body. And by understanding this, we want to understand how drinking kombucha or eating yogurt, how is that beneficial for us? It contains a lot of bacteria, but is it the right amount of bacteria we want in our bodies? And by understanding this, we can address issues like irritable bowel syndrome or neurological disorders like anxiety and depression. And this is what our lab strives to do. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching another presentation here at the Science Class. If you want to know more about the research that you just heard about, check the video description below for a link to that lab's website. And if you want to see more presentations like this in the future, you can subscribe to us by clicking this button here. Thanks very much.